here is you see the king of Saudi Arabia and you see President Trump sitting down there. They're being handed uh, the documents. Now, of course, we can't see them uh, specifically ourselves, but we believe that this is the $110 billion arms deal that uh, the Trump administration has been talking about even before President Trump landed in Saudi Arabia. It certainly adds up in a lot of dollars. There is some question as to what the offsets are and when it comes to the manufacture of some of this hardware, will it be Americans that benefit from it or will it be Saudis? Because part of the deal apparently, at least when it comes to helicopters, they will be manufacturing them in Saudi Arabia, which would mean those jobs are not going to be in the U.S. Saudi Arabia very much wants to begin uh, beefing up its own uh, military industry as far as being able to make the weapons themselves and not just buy them from the United States. The United States likes to see Saudi Arabia with a strong military because it is seen as a counter to the forces of Iran, and you can bet that Iran is watching the president's mm -hmm. visit very carefully right now. And remember, Iran just went through an election and uh, has renewed uh, their president for the second time. Let's just listen.